Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to Cosmic Chapter 2. Now, after the events of last episode where we did an insane amount of work clearing out this entire, this entire spherical area of water, of sand, and all that types of stuff, I figured just taking a breather, just lying down for a minute, and just, just relaxing. Ah, <sighs> isn't this nice? All right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Time to get up, time to pack this all up, put it away. Back to work, back to work, everyone. So we'll be back here at some point in the future, working more on the base, working on the design. As soon as I uh, actually figured out the design, as soon as I figure that out, we'll be back here. But for now, I want to uh, take our thoughts away from this and work on, work on other things. And because this video is being released the week of Christmas, I think there's only one place to start. So you know how a couple weeks ago I built that secret Santa sleigh where we could sign up and secretly get each other's gifts without letting the other person know? Well, I figured today I finally let you know who my secret Santa is and actually and actually deliver them a few presents. Piglins, can you leave me alone for five seconds? First it was gas over here, and now it's these pesky little piglins. So let's just take them out let's shoot them with a bow because otherwise they would do it to me let's yeah we gotta we gotta work more on spawn proofing this this one nether hub so there's a very high likelihood that other cosmics are watching this video and if you are watching this and you don't want to have a chance of getting it spoiled then skip ahead to this time you'll see on screen right now but in case you're not a cosmic or in case you don't really you don't really care about spoiling anything let's Let's get into delivering some gifts. So the person I drew for my secret Santa was actually Gracie Mary, a person which I have not really done too much with. I mean, I see her every now and then, but I haven't haven't properly done anything too much with her. So I guess this is the first the first stepping stones. It's actually interacting with her and doing something with her and I just need to find where her base is. I asked like the other cosmics where her base is, and I know I could use the tree and all, but I also gave the option to use their their base. There it is. Okay, so it's right here, and never actually been here before. Let's let's see what her place is like. And um, it's filled with grass. Okay, it's um, it's uh, got some wood in here. It's got a snow golem, which is fitting with the the festive the festive season. There's some sand in here. Okay, okay, this isn't this isn't too bad of a base right here. And because I've not really interacted or done too much with Gracie before, I just decided to get her a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I just need to find a good place to to actually put it. Um, okay, there's carpet here. I don't want it there. There's grass there. There's um some flowers here. Um, there's got to be a place somewhere in this space I could put it that won't intrude on with her other types of things. Maybe, maybe down here would be a good place. Yeah, maybe, maybe down here. So before I was considering just to not show you guys inside the shulker boxes, which is kind of, kind of crazy, but then I thought, eh, why not? So one of the first shulker boxes was actually kind of an, an accent. You can see how her base is kind of made a lot out of spruce wood and stuff, and then there's, there's some lacking bits. Well, inside this shulker box, what I have unintentionally got her, which is, come on, open up. Open up, come on, just open up, come on, like, come on. There we go. You can see I got her an entire shulker box full of spruce wood. Now she could actually finish building her base, finish, like, filling in all these stone bits and other things like that. This shulker box is probably the most precious one out of all of them. When she opens this, she will realize she will never need food ever again this season. I don't know what her armor set looks like, but I figured giving her some... Pretty decent diamond gear with some pretty good enchants and other things like that. And also, I just decided to throw in a, a sneaky little wither kit inside. I honestly had no idea what I was doing with this last one, so I just decided to throw in a whole bunch of bones in here. But you can't really argue with getting bones for Christmas. I mean, at least it's not getting coal in your stocking. So one of the last things I have to do is just place this item frame with this one book inside saying just a few little things. You could pause the video if you want, but it basically just says, Hi Gracie, you have no idea who gave this to you, but I just like a little uh a little thank you card for for working so hard on getting all this type of stuff. So yeah, after we place this in, everything is set and ready to be ready to be given to Gracie. She just has to log on and just check it out. 
Hopefully she didn't see this video. Hopefully she didn't just ignore the fact that I showed exactly what was on camera. But yeah, hopefully she'll like it. And yeah, let's actually move on to do some more stuff. Because what we're doing today actually has something to do with a shop that we worked on a couple episodes ago. So the Crispy Shack has returned. Bigger, better, stronger, faster, and hopefully more profitable. And yeah, what I've actually done in between episodes is finish the interior. You can see I have a, a chair layout right here, similar to the uh, to the last Crispy Shack. We have a nice little lobby area if you're waiting for a seat. We have a cashier and an ender chest in case you actually need to pick up some some diamonds or something. Heading your way upstairs to the kitchen, Nothing serious has been changed up here apart from some walls being built in and also I actually installed a few water elevators. One one of them heads down there and one of them heads up there. And what I'm working on today has to be kept under complete top secret. You can't tell anyone. You can't spread the word about this or anyone. And if you do, um uh I haven't thought this through yet. I haven't thought of um what I do. Uh you you're um you're you're banned from the crispy shack. Not actually, but say theoretically, but anyway, anyway, you can see these, uh, these one little buttons here, which actually holds in the water from the water elevator. It's very, it's a very subtle little thing. You don't actually notice it too much from here, but what happens when you actually push this one is actually a secret little hidden entrance pops up and you fall into this little area, which I've been digging out in between episodes. And yeah, down here is actually where we're going to be harvesting automatic food down here. We're going to build a whole bunch of automatic farms, automatic things like that. And yeah, actually get the sock right inside the crispy shack. And it's probably going to take a little while. It's probably going to take some time to actually build this entire thing. And that's why I actually um, already have a decent amount of supplies. I probably don't have enough to do everything, but I, I should have enough to at least get somewhat of a start, hopefully. And you know what? I've not actually done this in a while, but let's hop into a time lapse and try and get the bulk of this entire room done. Probably not everything, but let's get a let's get a good start right here. I didn't quite record the entire building process of it, but in the end, I'm actually pretty happy with the way this turned out. I mean, it's a relatively simple design in in the long haul, but I'm I'm pretty happy with it. We are uh, using some some torches until we figure out some some other types of better lighting, but still. But while building this, a few people actually noticed that I was down here and actually checked it out. So because of that, I actually added an extra layer of security, which should hopefully hold a few people back because sitting right down here, right by the, um, the water elevators, I added an extra little sign right here, just, just sitting right by the door that says employees only stay the redacted out. I didn't mean to use such vulgar language right there, but you know what? Desperate times, they call for desperate measures. Okay. Anyways, let's actually start getting to work down here and putting in our first automatic farm, an automatic 
Beef Farm. And the design comes from Silent Whisper. You probably know him. He's a pretty big YouTuber. And yeah, the uh, the building of the mechanical bit should not be the uh, the tricky bit. If my controller keeps acting up, maybe they'll be the tricky bit. But in, in hindsight, this won't be the uh, the difficult bit. What will actually be the the hard the hard task is actually to get callus down here. Like I just jumped down here easily and come on control. You, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling today. I'm struggling. I haven't had this problem in a while, but yeah, to get callus down here, it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a big task, but if we do this correctly and carefully, it shouldn't be too hard, but yeah, for now, I'm just having to fight against my con Controller, come on, come. Why am I having such a difficult day? I haven't had this this bad a day controlling my controller in such a long time, but now it's just all of a sudden just giving me giving me issues today. If you remember from way back in the day, I actually had so many more controller problems than I did now. Like as of like late, my controller problems have been minimal at most but just today it's just all of a sudden like it's probably just been building up over these come on come you see i'm uh, the struggles man the struggles of trying to control yourself and actually record a video it's it's so hard doing it but yeah it's probably just been building up over these past few months and just decide to all of a sudden just frustrate me all at once which i guess is um par for the course um oh well oh well and literally after recording that last clip, I had literally no issues in building this thing. So the way this farm actually works is that you push this button right here. The cows, which will eventually be there, will start bobbing up and down, up and down. That way I will be able to grab my wheat and actually breed them so we could get ourselves a whole bunch of, um, of baby cows. I stop pushing this button, or I push it again, and then they will head its way down here, the babies, and then when they eventually grow up down here, all I would have to do is actually just push this button, then lava will turn on and off, and then I will get all the drops from them. So out of everything, this part was actually probably the easiest one to actually get done today. But the few things we need now is actually the lava, which shouldn't be too incredibly difficult to get, and we need to get ourselves at least two cows down there so we can start uh so we can start breeding them and get all the drops and um uh, d don't don't ask what happened here um it's just been a little accident so now we got our buckets all we gotta do is find a source of lava and I think I know just the place to go to get myself all the lava I could ever need and I just noticed something when running down this hallway my sword is called sub to Evelyn this sword obviously was gifted by Evelyn, and it's a it's a pretty decent sword. But how could I, how could I have not noticed that until now? Um, I, I I guess if you want to go sub to Evelyn, you can. I I don't know if if they make any videos or not. But if you want to check them out, then then totally do that. But anyways, we're finally here, finally at the place, and you might recognize this as the as the Blaze Farm I showed off a long time ago, and you might notice that there's a few. Uh, extra little slabs here and there in this place and for that reason this one place we are at right here is actually called slab city but more importantly this place actually has essentially an infinite supply of lava sitting right down there so i guess all we gotta do is just fly ourselves down here and oh oh elijah go 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 oh did, did you see it, it just like stopped for a second all right let's just let's just grab our lava and get out of here not deal with any of these types of magmas that's coming after me come on fly fly there we go ah oh, that wasn't too bad that that was i was kind of overreacting there a little bit if i'm if i'm honest but yeah that wasn't that wasn't too hard so now what we gotta do is just take these lava buckets and place them inside the dispensers one there and one there and there goes the last of the the big easy bits now it's time for the slightly harder bits now we need to actually find a way to get some cows in here and i guess the first place to start is to actually just build a little stairway into it that way we wouldn't have too many hustles and actually getting the cows into it so if we just dig ourselves in here a little bit and yeah then they should be able to just drop in there if we actually um if we actually just get rid of that there we go now it should be easy and smooth sailing to get the cows in here Hopefully, that's the that's the idea. I'm probably going to regret saying that later on, aren't I? I think another thing we should do is actually remove the magma. That way we won't have to fight our way through this little button activation thing. And I just noticed there's an 
There's a little block I missed on there. Don't know how I missed that, but um, I guess it's filled in now. And all right, now time for the fun bit. Now it's time to actually go and find ourselves some cows. Snow cows around here. There's a dancing spider around a torch, but that's snow cow. Um, don't know where a good place to look. Maybe we just use the sheep. Can we just use you, Mr. Jeb Sheep? Can we just... Uh Hello, hello, Phantom, hello, it's nice to, actually, it's not nice to see you, it's never nice to see you, but, okay, now where, where are the cows sitting at? I'm, I'm sure there's bound to be at least a few around here somewhere, I just don't know where they would actually be at, um, I, I don't know, I don't know where, what's this? Huh, didn't, didn't know that shop existed, there's, there's some sheep sitting right there, there's, um, some beds right there there there's a water pocket down there but i am yet to see any cow we better not be having another situation like what we had in season six because in case you didn't see i was building a piglin brute farm and uh i got the piglins in but then we had a rollback and they despawned so hopefully we don't have another situation like that there's a llama there um they should just be somewhere like out in the open they should just be like in these big fields or on the edges oh oh there's there's some cows finally finally found one okay let's lead you up and oh there's another one all right we we have two cows now we have uh successfully managed to get a few cows now we just have to get you back to the crispy shack i think the little chamber i want to hold them in i want to have at least four cows i mean i don't want to have too many that would completely lag out the entire server so i think just having four cows in it hey don't don't be dying on me, okay? Don't be, don't be hurting yourself. But yeah, I think I just want to have about four cows in the little chamber. Oh no, my, my controller lost connection. This is the absolute worst time as I'm trying to hurt some cows over. Come on, like, you can see when it loses connection, I just, like, it, I drift on my own. Just, why is this the time where I'm just about to get to the crispy shack that it loses connection? Like, come on, game, come on. Hopefully this shouldn't be too hard of a fix, but uh, we'll have to see. Give me like two seconds. Two seconds later. There we go. I fixed it. It wasn't too hard to fix. So just got to get these cows out the water and fix the little thing I might have accidentally broken with K-Flips. And yeah, guys, this is your new home. This is where you will be staying. And you are the lucky, the lucky cows to not actually get murdered. So, all right, let's get you in. Come on, suck it in. Come on, through the doors, through the double doors, which is... Should be big enough for you. Come on. In. In you go. There you go. There we go. Let's lead him up. And yeah, now we got ourselves two cows inside the shop. Self, why did you lead the two cows up here when you were supposed to take him down to the basement? Like, why did you do that? All right, you two beautiful bovine. You are coming with me. Let's unlead you and lead you back up. And okay, this is probably going to be the most challenging bit. Now we got to find a way to get them down into the place and oh no oh no they're, they're going up um uh um uh what what do i do uh panic 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 um let's put you back here um is that cow okay that cow better not die that cow better not have just turned into beef are you okay you're okay you you actually managed to get out of here so come on come on uh, re-lead re-lead come on uh, oh you're you're already led oh Okay, this time I'm actually gonna get rid of the water. It'll break the water elevator, but I can I can fix it later. This is far more important getting this this cow down. So, okay, there we go. Now come on with me. Come on down. We can we can do this together. I can push you in. Come on, it's fine. It's it is totally safe. I promise. I go down here all the time, so it should be 100 per. Wait a minute. What? What? How did he die? What? Like, what? You see me going down here all the time, and I'm completely fine. Why did the cow have problems with it? Sigh. Mega sigh. Oh, and great, now my controller has completely lost connection, but let's at least try and get the, uh, the other living cow down here safely. Okay, you're not gonna believe this cow, but your other friend, he actually found an escape route that I, that I, uh, totally built, so... How about you actually go down there and check it out and maybe think about staying and... Okay, I'm not going to lead you this time so you don't actually bungee jump your way back up here. So just go down there and... Oh, you better not have died. Are you alive still? 
Thank goodness. Thank goodness you are still still alive and breathing. So let's get you out of the water. Lead you over here. And let's just put you on a fence post for now. Just just while we're a few cows short. And oh, finally, we didn't finish this thing, unfortunately. We didn't get all the cows we needed. But we at least got one. We at least got one. And oh boy, that was... That was a journey and a half trying to get this one cow, but yeah, I think in between episodes I'll do more more cow gathering and get this farm up and running, but yeah, for now, for now, that's pretty much all I have for you, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.